So we all got to see quantum immortality in action yesterday. There was somebody in another... So someone tagged me in this video, and if you have been watching me for any amount of time, you know this is my nerd out spot, so let's talk. So what he's talking about here is quantum immortality. And I know, I know some of you guys are like, nope, that's math, that's science, I'm not doing it. But you are doing it on a daily basis. So this theory, quantum immortality, is the theory, idea, whatever you wanna call it, that when you die in another universe, your consciousness, whatever, comes to one where you're still alive. Basically, you die, but you didn't die. Your consciousness just goes to another version of you in another universe. And I know that you're thinking, okay, that's stupid, like that couldn't happen. But have you ever heard of the Mandela effect? In fact, how many of you guys have heard the theories about the Mandela effects not actually being some fake thing that our brains made up, but different timelines merging together and the people that remember it one way or from a different timeline versus the ones that remember it from what is now the real thing or the norm. So were you lucky enough to survive something and remember, oh, okay, my heart is on the left versus those of us that are like, no, no, bitch, that heart's in the middle. Or were you part of another consciousness in another version of you where our hearts were in the middle? And now they're over here. Because quantum immortality is all wrapped up with the many worlds theory or parallel universes. Multiple timelines. So anytime something big happens, a quantum process, another universe is created. Rick and Morty fans, anyone? In this episode right here, they specifically make different choices because their characters are unsure about what they want to do. And it just gets worse and worse and worse until they get it all back into one. Or maybe you're not a fan of Rick and Morty, and instead, you're a fan of Futurama. Because in Futurama, they talk about multiple timelines, time skips, freezing time, time travel, all of those things. In fact, movies, TV shows, cartoons, we've all been talking about it and inundated with it for a long time. Star Trek, anyone? Spock living out his life in a different timeline? Anyone? The mirror universe being something in almost every Star Trek franchise? Anyone? So for those of you guys that think there's no way we could skip timelines, no way our consciousness could flip from one timeline to another, there's no way any of that is real. It's been shoved down our throats for over 70 years. And think about how the Mandela effects have been ramping up lately. Which one is your new favorite? Mine happens to be Scarecrow with the gun and the Wizard of Oz. But if we're all now noticing the Mandela effects and we're all now noticing the timeline skips and we're all now, especially those of us in the spiritual community that have been called crazy for this shit, we're all now seeing it. Everyone's fucking seeing it. I'd say this is a great argument for the merging of spirituality, for the merging of, oh, we're in a different timeline and quantum physics and quantum mechanics. We absolutely witnessed quantum jumping, quantum immortality on Saturday, this weekend. And we actually see it way more than y'all realize. I guarantee you every single one of you have experienced it as well. How many times has something happened and you went, oh my God, I died right there. I could have died right there. And then you felt different. I'm just saying what I'm saying.